I think I misspoke a little bit saying it was better than the original. Shut up, you don't think Ryan is famous? Cousin Ryan. You gotta... What is up, YouTube friends and family? Cousin Ryan? John. And this is a double whammy tonight. We're going big. Going real big. We are headed down to the movie theater for the early release of Top Gun Maverick, AKA Top Gun 2. But that's not the big news. <laughs> that's not, that's the, big not news. the big news. That's only part of the news. The biggest news is I've got iced coffee for the evening. Mm, mm. That's not it either. That's not it either. The big news is we're driving the Ecto. Ecto 19 a This is maiden, the Maiden Movie Voyage. That's right. So, uh, it's not the easiest to drive one-handed when you're drinking. <laughs> there are no cup holders in here yet. We'll have to fix that. I think I'm the designated Still cup holder. Still working the bugs out, but uh, it's, uh, yeah, we're running good. It's hot out today. Ooh, sweating. Uh, 97. Yeah. And we've got uh, so the same AC you would expect in a 63-year-old car. That's right. 63. Dang. But as, as for the movie though, yes. expectations. Uh, I think it's going to be high flying. I think it's going to be uh, standard fare uh, Top Gun Part Two. I think it's going to be like as much remake as you can remake without it being a remake. Yeah, uh, it's the way you get your fan base. And it, I think. What am I trying to say here? I've read several reviews. Right? <clears throat> Nay, I haven't read the reviews. I've read the headlines of several reviews that say it's better than the original. I do not I, believe it. I have a hard time believing that. Like, I think if you can remove the nostalgia of the original, then maybe you got a chance at having a better movie. Maybe. Yeah. But it's almost impossible to remove the nostalgia from the original. Yeah. That's, I mean, for at least for our generation, yeah. Top Gun was such an iconic oh. movie. I mean, the music, the 100%. flying jets, the, the Cold War, you know. Tom I mean, like Cruise every, before he went crazy. Uh, Tom Cruise before he found religion. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, excited to watch. Uh, this is the super early release on Tuesday. Yeah, um, yeah we couldn't wait till Thursday for this one. We could not. Well, and you know, this was supposed to be out summer 2020 also. I know, I know. Along with Ghostbusters and Bill and Ted Face the Music. So the best part for that, of that for me is that Tom Cruise was two years younger when he filmed this. <laughs> That's right. He's what, almost 60 now? He's isn't not he? young. He is not Crazy. young. I just saw a headline that there's another Mission Impossible coming yeah. out too. Yep, so he's still at it. Good for him. All right, well, we'll be there shortly. Uh, we'll give you a non-spoiler post-credit uh, after the show. I was going to spoil it. Goose dies. Wait. Goose dies. Goose comes back. Goose comes back. All right, man. What do you think? <laughs> well done. Well done. Yeah. Trying to do this completely spoiler-free. Uh, I thought it was incredible. I thought it was right up there with Cobra Kai and Ghostbusters Afterlife to revive a franchise, to have sure. a sequel 30 plus years later. Uh, I loved every bit of it. I even said, I think I misspoke a little bit, saying it was better than the original. You have to have the original to make this one a Agreed. good movie. Agreed. You have to have the original. It's not that you would have to see the original to understand everything. But to really appreciate this, you have to see the original. Yeah. Uh, super well done. Uh, all the parts that needed to be in it were in it. A mm -hmm. uh, lot of element of surprise. Yep, yep. Touching moments. Very much um, so. A lot of emotion, some good humor yeah, in it, too. Absolutely. There's some yep. funny stuff. Yep. Uh, Nostalgia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miles Teller, I think, did a great job. Uh, and John you know, Hamm didn't bother me. Does he normally bother you? Sometimes. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I bought his character completely. Yeah. I felt like everybody was believable. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, no. You should know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just call it out right now. I know there was some debate on whether I was reaching or not, but when Jennifer Conley first appears in the movie, they're in a bar, and a David Bowie song is playing. I think it was a nod to Labyrinth. I'm just saying. Could I'm be. just gonna say it. That might be a stretch, but come on. That's of all the songs you could play. Hey, Tom Cruise looked good. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer Connelly looked good. Oh, 
Jennifer Connelly's beautiful. She's beautiful, like gorgeous beautiful. Yeah. Um, I got nothing else to add. Any any further commentary is going to get into spoiler. Go territory. see it. It was Go really see it. good. Definitely. Yeah. Hundred uh, percent. Like. And watch this, the original. Yeah. I would say watch the original. Well, you don't have to watch the original no, first. Just do but it because it's a great movie. Yeah. 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 yeah no. Uh, I got nothing else. I'm good, good for you, Tom Cruise. You yeah. keep doing it. Yeah. No. It. Uh, this was fun. We got our cups. Yep. We got our and poster. They gave us a poster. There was a little pin attached to it. Yeah. Uh, the poster looks just like. Oh, it's turned. Turn it towards you. There. Now it's right side up. The poster looks pretty much just like that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, until next time. Good night. Be excellent to each other. You know, sir, it's cousin Ryan on the Hollywood Boulevard. You know, sir, he's bigger than any superstar. All of us meet you some, some real to a bar. Some of them sweeter than any chocolate bar. Boom! Hey.